Talmud Bavli, uh, Gemara Brachot, Perak Rishon, Daf Yud Gimel, Amud Bet, 13b. I'm just going to start uh, from the last two lines of the previous page, from 13a, Yud Gimel, Amud Aleph. Tana Rabbanan, Rabbis taught, Vayushalo Yikra Lemafreya. And they shall be that one should not recite Shema out of sequence. Hazarim alavecha, the words upon your heart, yachol tehel kol ha-parasha shecha kabana. It could be thought the entire portion, first portion of Shema, requires intent. Tamud loma ha-ele, scripture states these ha-ele, ad kan shecha kabana, until here intent is necessary. Mikad ve'elech elach ein tricha kavana. But from here onward, intent is not necessary. Tivri Rabbi Eliezer, the words of Rabbi Eliezer. Ama lo Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva said to him, Harehu Omer. The verse states, now we're on Yud Gimel Amud Bet, 13b. Asher anachim mitzavecha hayom alavecha, which I command you this day shall be upon your heart. Mikanat alamed shekol ha-parasha kula tricha kavana. From here you derive that the entire section of Shema, the first section of Shema, requires intent. Amarav, Amarabba bar, bar chana Amarabi Yochanan, Rabba bar chana, said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Halachaka Rabbi Akiva, the law records with Rabbi Akiva, in that the entire first section of Shema requires kavana. Ika de matne la ha datanya, there are those who teach Rabbi Barach, Babar Hanana's ruling as referring to this was taught in a brisa, a korech matzarich shechavein et libo. One who recites the Shema must direct his mind, uh, meaning to the uh, to the word. Rabbi Acha mishum Rabbi Yehuda Omer, kevan shechavein libo beferik rishon. Once he directs his mind, his mind uh, to the meaning of the words in the first paragraph. Shuv en and he's no he's no longer required to concentrate. Amar Rabba Bar Barchana, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabba Bar Barchana said in the name of Rabbi 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 Yochanan, Halacha Rabbi Acha, Shamar Mishum Rabbi Yoda, the law accords with Rabbi Acha, who stated in the name of Rabbi Yoda, meaning that one is obligated to concentrate only while reciting the first section of Shema. It has been taught in, an, in another Baraisa, Vehayu, <coughs> and they shall be. That's from the Shema. Shaloi Kra Lemafreya, that one may not recite the Shema out of sequence. Al Levavecha, upon your heart, Rabbi Zutra Omer, Adkan Mitzvat Kavana, until here is the requirement of intent. Mikan Ve'elech, Mitzvat Kriya, from here on, what is the requirement of recital? Rabbi Yoshia Omer, Adkan Mitzvat Kriya. Until here, that is the first section of Shema, is the requirement of recital. Mikan ve'elach Mitzvat Kavana. From here onward, second section is the requirement of intent. Maishna Mikan ve'elach Mitzvat Kriya. For what reason is from here onward, um, that is the second section of Shema, uh, for, so for what reason is it different now? Uh, because now it has a requirement of recital, mitzvah kriya. Dichtiv, ledabebam, because it's written there to speak of them. This implies an oral reading. Hachanami hachtiv, bidibatabam. Here too, in the first section, it's written, and you shall speak of them. So what's the difference between the two? Hachi kamara, Zushra said this. Ad kan mitzvah kavana, ukriya, until here, the first section is the requirement of intent and of recital. Mikan ve'elach kriya ba'lo kavana. From here onward, the second section, is the recital without the intent. O mai shna adkan mitzvah kavana kriya, but for what reason is until here, the first, sec- the first section different. It has the requirement of intent and of recital. So what's the reason for that? Tichti v'alavrecha v'dibatabam. Because it is written upon your heart, and you shall speak of them. There too, in the second, se- second section, it says, it's written 
upon your heart to speak of them. So the second section should have the same requirement. Ahumi by le ki le chid rabbi itzrak dama. Uh, where it's written upon your heart in the second section is required for Rebbe Yitzchak said you shall place these words of mine upon your heart so this teaches about the tefillin one on the arm there must be a placing high up in the arm opposite the heart Amarav Master said, sorry, we'll just scroll down. So we're um, three quarters of the way down the first section of the first narrow section, uh, and we're starting Amar Mar. Amar Mar, Rabbi Yoshia Omer Adkan Mitzvat Kriya. Rabbi Yoshia says, until here, the first section of Shema is the requirement of recital. Mikan ve'elach mitzvat kavana. From here onward, afterwards, the second section is the requirement of its head. Maishna mikan ve'elach mitzvat kavana. So what's the reason from here onward? The second section, second section of Shema is different. Uh, it has a requirement of its head. Mishum tichtiv alivavchem. Because it is written, is it because it's written upon your heart? Ha chanami ha ketiv alevavecha. Here too, in the first section, it's written upon your heart. So why does the first section lack a requirement of intent? Hachi kamar Rav Yeshua actually said this. Ad kamet svas kriya vechavana. Until here, the first section is a requirement of recital and of intent. Mikan ve'elah kavana bela kriya. From here onward, the second section is the intent, is the intent without the recital. Umayshna ad kan mitzvat kriya v'chavana. So, what's the reason until here the first section is different? Uh, it has the requirement uh, requirement of recital and of intent. Tiktiv al levavecha v'dibatabam. Isn't it because it's written? Upon your heart, and you shall speak of them. Levavecha v'dibatavam, hatam nami, ha aktiv alavvechem ledebevam. There too, in the second section, it's written upon your heart to speak of them. So both requirements apply to that section as well. Hahu b'tivrei Torah k'tiv. So that verse to speak of them, um, meaning v'dibatavam. Uh, is written concerning words of Torah. The Hachi Kamar Rahmana and the merciful one is saying thus Agmiro Banaihu Torah. Teach your children Torah, the words of Torah. Ki Hechi Dili Gresu Behu so that they learn to be able to speak of them, to study them. Tana Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in Brahsa Shma Israel Hashem Elokeno Hashem Echad uh, here, O Israel, Hashem is our God, Hashem is the one and only. Ad kan shricha kavanat halev. Until, until here, concentration of the heart is required. Divrei Rabbi Meir, these are the words of Rabbi Meir. Amar Rabba, Rabba said, Halacha ka Rabbi Meir. The Lord accords with Rabbi Meir. Tanya was taught in a brisa. Sumchos Omer. Sumchos says, "Kol ha'marich be'achad marichin lo yamav ushnotav." Whoever prolongs, whoever prolongs uh, echad, saying the word echad, um, that's at the end of Shema, has his days and his years prolonged. Amarav Acha Bar Yaakov, Rav Acha Bar Yaakov said, Uvdalet, sorry, Uvdaled, so this is the letter Daled in the word Echad. 
Ama Ravashi, Ravashi said, Uvilvad Shelo Yachatov Bechet, provided he does not hurry the letter Rabbi Yirmiya Havayativ Kame de Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. Rabbi Yirmiya was sitting before Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. Chazia de Hava Marich Tuva. And Rabbi Chia Bar Abba saw that Rabbi Yirmiya was prolonging um, the word Echad a great deal. Amarle, Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said to him, Kevan de Amlichte la Maala, ul Mata, ul Arba, Ruchot Hashemaim. Once you acknowledge God's kingship uh, above and below, on heaven above and earth below, and the four directions of the skies, tu lo tuchat, no more is required. Amar Rav Natan Ba, sorry, we'll just scroll down again. We're at the word um, tuchat, which is about. So it's on the right hand side about halfway down the page in the middle section. Okay. Amar Rav Natan Bar Mar Ukva Amar Rav Yehuda. Rav Natan Bar Bar Mar Ukva said in the name of Rav Yehuda. Alev Vecha Bamida upon your heart is, is said while standing. Alevavecha Salka Datach. Do you really think that you need to stand when saying Alevavecha upon your heart? Ela Ema Ad Alevavecha Bamita. Rather, say um, until upon your heart Alevavecha, that's while standing. Mikan Veelachlo, but from here onward uh, you do not remain in your place. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar, Kol Ha Parasha Kula Bamida. The entire first portion while standing in place, but as da Rabbi Yochanan Latame, and Rabbi Yochanan follows his opinion. Da Amar Rabba Bar Bar Chan Amar, Rabbi Yochanan, Halachak Rabbi Yacha. Sha'amar Mishum Rabbi Yehuda, the law records with Rabbi Yacha, who stated in the name of Rabbi Yehuda that you concentrate while reciting the first section of Shema because the intent is a requirement for the first section and therefore you, ha sh you should recite the entire passage while standing in your place. Tanur Rabbanan, the rabbis taught, Shema Israel Hashem Elkeinu Hashem Echad. Hear, O Israel, Hashem is a God, Hashem is the one and only. Zo Kriyat Shema Shel Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi. This was Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi's recital of the Shema. Ama le Rav le Rabbi Chia. Lo Chazena le le Rabbi Dim Kabel ale Machot Shemaim. I did not ever see Rabbi Yehuda Nasi accept upon himself the yoke of heaven's sovereignty, the Malchut Shemaim. Amale, Rabbi Chia said to him, Bar Pachate, O son of nobles. Besha'a Shema Viria Daval Panav, at the time Rabbi passes his hands over his face, Mekabel Alav Ol Malchut Shemaim, he accepts upon himself the yoke of heaven's sovereignty. Choser ve Gomre. Gomra, would Rebbe return and complete? Uh, so, would Rebbe return and complete the Shema recital, or Eino Chazeva Gomra, or would he not return and complete? Uh, this is it says here after concluding his lecture to the students. Bar Kapara Omer, Eino Chazeva Gomra, he did not return and complete the Shema. Rabbi Shimon be Rabbi Omer, Rabbi Shimon the son of Rebbe says. Chazer Gomra, he did return and complete it. Ama le bar kapara le rabbi shimon be rabbi. Bar kapara said to rabbi shimon the son of rabbi. Bishlama le didi, it is well according to me. Damina eino chazer Gomra. 
For I said, for I say, Rebbe did not return and collate the Shema. Heino dimhata Rabbi Ashmata to eat ba yetziat mitzrayim, and this is why Rebbe would seek out a teaching that contains uh, something about uh, yetziat mitzrayim, about Exodus. Ela lididach de amat chazer ragomra. But according to you, he says Rebbe did return and complete the Shema, uh, and therefore he said the third the third section about yetziat mitzrayim. Lamale le why does he need to seek out this teaching every day? In order to mention the Exodus at its proper time, at the time of Shema. Ama Rabbi Yila Bre de Rav Shmuel Bar Marta Mishme de Rav Ama Shma Israel Hashem El Keno Hashem Echad. If you said the verse here, O Israel, Hashem is a God, Hashem is one and only, and then you were overcome by sleep, you did discharge your, you, you did discharge your obligation. Rav Nachman led to Rav Nachman said to his servants, Daro, Bif Sukkah Kamatsaran. During the first verse, you should discomfort me in case I start dozing off. And I want to be totally conscious and alert, so discomfort me, tfe lo tetzaran, and more than that, uh, for the rest of Shema, do not discomfort me. Amale Rav Yosef le Rav Yosef Bered Rabba. Avuch hechi hava avid. What would your father do to stay away during Shema? Amale, Rav Yosef, the son of Rabbi, said to him in reply, Bif suka kamahava ka mitzaer nafshe. Uh, during the first verse, he would discomfort himself <coughs> to remain alert. Tfe lo hava mitzaer nafshe. And more than that, he would not discomfort himself. Amar Rav Yosef, Prakdan Lo Yikra Kriyat Shema, one who lies on his back should not recite Shema. Mikra Hu Delo Likre. It is the recital. It is the recital that one should not perform while on your back. Ha Migna Shapir Dame. So, therefore, sleeping. In that, in that position is permissible. The Harabi Yoshua ben Levi late Aman Degane Af Aparkid. But Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi cursed one who sleeps on his back. Amre, sages said, Migna ki matzle shapir dame. Sleeping is acceptable if he inclines a little on his side. Mikra. When reciting Shema, Af al Gav de Matle Nami Asor. Even if he inclines a bit to the side, it is also forbidden. The Har Rabbi Yochanan Matle Bakare, but Rabbi Yochanan inclined and recited the Shema. Shani Shani Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan was an exception because he. Sorry, Shani Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan was an exception. Deva'al Basar Hava. Because he was a large person. And he had trouble turning to his side completely. The Prakim Sha'el Bechole. In between the paragraphs of Shema, you can uh, inquire or interrupt about someone's welfare or for someone else's honor um, and return a greeting. Meshiv mechamat mai, for the sake of what may one return a greeting? Ilema mipnei hakavod. If we say for the sake of a person's honor, it can't be. Hashta mishal sha'il. Now one may actually inquire about another's welfare. 
Ahdurei Mibaya. Is it necessary that he may return someone's greeting? Of course, Ela, rather, Shoel Mipnei HaKavod. In between the paragraphs of Shema, you can inquire about another's welfare for the sake of their honour. Or Meshiv Shalom Adam, and one may return a greeting to any person. This is what uh, Rabbi Meir said. Ema Sefer, consider the latter part of Rabbi Meir's statement. Uva Emsa Shoel Mipnei Hira O Meshiv. This is from the Mishnah. If he's in the middle uh, of the paragraph, he may interrupt and inquire on account of fear of his life, and he may return, may return a greeting. Meshim, meshiv mechamat mai, for the sake of what may he return a greeting? Ilema mipnei ha'ira. If we say for the sake of fear, fear of his life, hashda mishal she'el, now one may actually inquire um, about someone else's welfare. Adure Mibaya, is it necessary uh, that he may return a greeting for that purpose? Of course, again, Ela, rather, Rabbi Meir means, Mipnei HaKavod, for the sake of a person's honor. Uh, even in the middle of the paragraph of Shema, you can return a greeting. For the sake, so Mipnei HaKavod is for the sake of honor. Hainu de Rabbi Yoda, this is what Rabbi Yoda said. Who, and Rabbi Yoda was the one that argued with, with Rabbi Meir in the Mishnah. Titsna, for we learned in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yoda, or Meir, Rabbi Yoda says, Be'en Sashoel Mipnei Ha'ira. In the middle of a per- paragraph, he may inquire on account of the fear of his life, or Meshiv Mipnei Ha'kavod, but he may return a greeting for the sake of honor. Over Prakim Sha'el Mipnei Ha'kavod. And in between the paragraphs of Shema, he may inquire for the sake of honor. Or may shiv shalom lechol adam, and he may return a greeting to any person. Chasurei machsara achi katanei. The Mishnah seems to be missing words. And it teaches this. Baprakim shoel mipnei hakavod. In between paragraphs of Shema, and his blessings, he may interrupt and inquire about another's well for the, for the sake of honor. The Ein Sarich Lomar Shehu Meshiv. And it's not necessary to say that he may return a greeting. Over Ensa, in the middle of the paragraph of Shema, Shoel Mipnei Haira. He may inquire, he may interrupt and inquire on account of the fear for his life. It's not necessary to say that he may return a greeting. Dear Rabbi Meir, these are the words of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Yodah Meir, Be'emsa. In the middle of the paragraph, Sho'el Mipnei Ha'ira. He can interrupt and inquire only only on account of the fear of his own life. Or Meshiv Mipnei Ha'kavod. But he may return greeting for the sake of someone else's honour. I'll just continue the next few words. And in between paragraphs of Shema, he may inquire for the sake of another's honour. And he may return a greeting to any person.